Several contracts for speed cameras between cities and vendors in Rhode Island may violate state law. We looked at a statute that's supposed to stop vendors from profiting off your tickets. But we know they do, as NBC 10's I-Team reporter Tamara Sikarsik reports. The vendors behind the speed cameras profit in two ways. They get a fixed fee per camera per month and also take a fixed fee from each citation. The citation part of that agreement may be going against state law. When you get nabbed by a speed camera, you get slapped with a $50 fine. A fixed portion of that fine then goes to the vendor, but a closer look at Rhode Island's speed camera law throws the legality of that into question. I think it's probably uh, a way of, of really strictly construing the law. Rhode Island Minority Leader Mike Chippendale was at the State House when the 2016 legislation passed. It states contracts between cities and vendors, quote, shall not be based on a percentage of the revenue generated by the system, yet a portion of your ticket is a percentage of revenue generated. Certainly does feel like, you know, they're getting a chunk, which the legislature made it clear that uh, that was not our intent. In East Providence in Pawtucket, vendor Sensi's Gotso cashes in on $7.30 for each notice of violation. In Providence, New Jersey-based vendor Conduent gets $7.85 per each $50 violation. Fixed fees written into city contracts. NBC 10 legal analyst Mark Dana. In your legal understanding, these contracts are directly going against the state law. Absolutely. There's no question that this statute, uh, if you're getting a percentage of the ticket or a fixed amount of the ticket, is a violation. But the cities with the cameras disagree. Pawtucket says the city pays that fixed fee even if the citation is dismissed. Therefore, it's not a percentage of the profit. Providence came up with a different reason, saying the fixed fee addresses administrative costs of tickets and therefore is okay. Others yeah. aren't so sure. On its face, it does seem to be, you know, violating what the General Assembly was trying to prevent in 2016 when they authorized these systems. Is it possible that these companies have contracts with so many cities and towns across the world that they just take that generic contract without looking at the state statute? Yeah, I would assume for big multinational companies, you know, boilerplate contracts um, are pretty common um, and, and might not have been vetted fully. Common Cause Rhode Island Executive Director John Marion says if there's a chance the law is being violated, the legislature has an oversight role. This is sort of a natural topic when, uh, you know, your reporting exposes something like this for the legislature and its oversight committees in the House and the Senate to kind of take a look. Should the legislature take another look at the statute? I do think we should look at the statute again to see if there's some tightening of language that can be done to make sure that the, our taxpayers and our, our the motorists in this state aren't being over fined and that this revenue is, is not uh, being generated for a private company uh, to ensure safety around children. I reached out to former Senator McCaffrey, who spearheaded the speed camera legislation. He declined an on-camera interview, but said the law states they did not want vendors to profit off citations. East Providence and Central Falls haven't responded to our request for comment on the story yet. To see the full statements from Providence and Pawtucket, head to turn to 10.com. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sakarza.